I want to show you one other way to think about the area of a trapezoid. And this way of thinking about it, I think, is very easy because it's very intuitive. A trapezoid can be thought of as kind of like a rectangle. It has a certain width and it has a certain height. And so the formula for the area of a rectangle is width times the height. Maybe we could use that formula to find the area of a trapezoid. And the height of the trapezoid is pretty obvious. That's the, the vertical distance between the bases. But what is the width? What would, what would we put in for the width of a trapezoid? We couldn't use width A because if we made a rectangle of width A, that would be an area that is clearly too small. And we can't use B, base B, as the width of the trapezoid because if we made a rectangle of width B, that would clearly be too large. So the question is, what would we put in here for width? If we're going to do width times height to find the area of this shape, what is the width of this shape? Well, it turns out it's the average width of these two bases. And you could think of that as the average width of the trapezoid. So you could take this point, the midpoint of one leg here, and the midpoint of the other leg over there, and connect those. And that gives you a segment that is the average of length A and length B. The length of that segment is the average width of the trapezoid. You could think of it like this. Here's width A, and then imagine moving down. And as you go down, the trapezoid gets wider and wider and wider, and it gradually gets wider until you get all the way to the bottom, and that's its widest point, width B. So the width of the trapezoid, as you go from the top to the bottom, the width gradually increases from width A to width B. So the average width would be right in between those two widths, and that would be the width that you find halfway down. Let's imagine making a rectangle using this segment as the width. The rectangle would look something like this. Okay, and if that's drawn, if that's drawn perfectly, then this triangle over here outside the trapezoid is exactly equal to this little triangle on the inside. And the same thing happens over here on the other side. So the area of that rectangle is exactly the same as the area of the trapezoid. And the width that we use for the rectangle in that case is the average of length A and B. And so that's how we get a number to put in there for the width. We can say that the area of the trapezoid is equal to the average of the bases the average of the bases times the height the area is the average of the bases times the height and we can write that mathematically you can say the area of a trapezoid is the average of the bases is a plus b over 2. That's how we average two numbers. Just add them up and divide by 2 and then times the height times h. And you can see that this is mathematically equivalent to the formula we had earlier. We have a plus b and h multiplied together and the 2 in the denominator. 